That's right. We had the uh, Roberto Clemente then, then, then Park. Then that, that would be in the Bronx. The Bronx. We yeah, all yeah, happy. Yeah, right? yeah, here with here with here with the yeah, Penn School yeah, sorority and fraternity. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no, it's cadets. Cadets. Okay, great. You, you all came from the Cadet Corps. That's what Diane's trying to say. See you, Michonne. There it is. There it is. Oh, uh, no, wait, wait, Clint. Wait, wait. What, what, what line was you on? Please tell me. Second line. Tell us your details. Let's put it that way. Well, I don't know. What else is called? 1965, second line. Uh, the Cadet Corps. Uh, we had phenomenal leadership. Our motto was go forth and serve. And the majority of us are still out here doing that. Exactly. And all of us are in our 70s now. And we've known each other since we were adolescents. 7, 8, 9 years of age. Up in Camp Minson. Uh, I am so proud. I have so much love for what I've been, what I've went through and how much I've grown in life. Why are here? Who I became in life. Was you in Camp Minson when 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 Rain Hansberry was up there? No. Rain Hansberry, the pump player, she was up there. Maybe it was earlier. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I was I was going to Minson since I was since 1957. Ah. Yeah, I was in Mexico since, I guess, 1959. No, no. no. When I saw David, I said, he's got to have some game. Yeah. You know, 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 Okay, hate because respect. hate, love because love. Here's an interesting concept. I know that name. You, you know, in, 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 when I say in the, in the, in the ghetto, I couldn't, I couldn't, we used to say, remember. especially dudes, when we couldn't say, you, you really couldn't say, I love you. But so the way we said it was, I got your back. That came yeah. Which is the way we used to say it, which basically means it, it's, it's, it's more precise. I mean, we got each other back. That's the point of the thing. You know, like that. Well, yeah, well, back, but I mean, I was part of this in 69. Like I said, love comes from back. Mm -hmm. and we'll have you so that I'm already here. I'm already here. Uh, uh, here. I'm here. Um, loyalty, all that, you know, uh, uh, being supportive to each other, yeah. caring about each other, helping each other. And see, and you have to realize also, well, I'm sure you do, that where we came from, when we were growing up, we came out of communities. Exactly. Communities doesn't exist oh, yeah. anymore like a show. It's neighborhoods. Yeah. Neighborhoods is just a lot of buildings. You can live in a building, let's say on an eighth floor, yeah. and not know each other. Yeah. Look out for each other. But, the, but, but that, I want to get off. I want to stay with, with the fraternity and sorority and the organization. So, Diane, when did you come to Penn School? How did you get? Um, I met cadets in 1965. Okay, I remember clearly was Ronnie Mason, Mr. Pryor, Mr. Pryor, and he was kind of we were we were doing. We're doing video. One of them doing a video. Uh, yes, uh, and in terms of, uh, we were, you know, we were the girls playing in the park. And here comes. Here comes what, 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 park, what, what park was this? Uh, PS28. There you go. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? At? Cadet Academy. At Cadet Academy. And here were these, here were all of these. Guys. Give, 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 give Wait a minute, I'll give you. Give, okay. Oh, okay. Answer that, Avenue, 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 Saint Nicholas. And Saint Nicholas. Okay. And here was, here was, here was this young, this young man. And he was telling us that he had priority, and we got to get off this handball court. And I'm like, who is that handball court? And we're like, who is this? And who they think they are? So we marched into we marched into the uh, building. And then, uh, I didn't know the court was here. He was 28. Okay. Okay. And we said we want to speak to uh, whoever is in charge. Okay, and they gave us, um, what did we say, directors to? But it wasn't Virgil. I think it was maybe Ronnie Page. Okay, 
and they were, and they were being kind to us, you know, young girls, and they were being kind, and they said, you know, you're right, and you, this is, you know, your, your community, and you should be allowed to go on the bus. So that was our introduction to, uh, to the men, the young men of Canada uh, School, and, uh, you know, we said, wow, look at this, young men and cute boys, and, oh, you know, good, yes. Yeah. Okay, and that well, was the how, how old you? About 15? Well, how old you? We were uh, about 15. So yeah, about 15. Uh, okay, uh, at, that, at that time. Well, you and then, night, um, you know, over no. some time, in the summertime, you know, they had their program. And uh, we were just in, enchanted, okay, you know, by just all of these boys, okay, and I, young men and boys. And um and you know that was the beginning of um, uh, our no, but I but I remember growing up in that environment. We were exceptional. Yes, that's why you know we were all like, oh, okay. who is this and who are they? Who are they? See, my, my recollection is like, you know, see, I follow my my older brother every place, you know. And at nine years old, he went to the Corps with the at, 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 at South Bronx, um, uh, the, the Mount Haven, you know, section of South Bronx. And so he went to the Corps. Of course, I went with him, you know. And so he left, but I stayed, you know. But the, the important thing is that what you were saying, Flanagan, is kind of interesting because my, me individually, right, I, I was too busy with the cadet corps and just, 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 I was like school, I was into school. That was our life. Like that. Yeah. So it wasn't like I was exceptional. There was other people like that around, but it's just that I was—I don't want to say focused, but I was so so wanting to do something that people that that, that they say were bored or something—they like, just didn't want to do anything. They would just sit like bumps on the log, you know. And that's the same. Anyway, so I stayed with the cadet corps, and as it went all the way through, you know. Um, you like, were in the academy. No, we just, I was there when the academy started. Yeah, I was one of the look. Well, so was around all the time. Yeah, remember, remember, I made I made the fraternity when I was. 15. Fifteen. What people don't understand about fraternity back then is like we, uh, black people in the United States. We didn't really have a right to pass it. In other, in, in other, in other um, uh, cultures, they have a right to pass it for people. For kids that are like uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, the closer you have that is when you go to college and you have these sororities and fraternities. But that's too late, actually. And you know what I mean? You have to, as, as we used to say, you have to, you have to uh, catch the cat when, when they when they first get their dog water. That's, 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 that's when they start acting out. You know what I'm saying? So you catch them at that point. That's that's when it, that's why it's so crucial. I mean, right now I'm in Africa and they and they do, they do their they, they do their initiation about you know like oh, 15, 16, 17, up to 18, but they even get late Later than that, I think it's too late then. You know, I just think it's too late then. Uh, yes. Well, yeah, they're mature now. So yeah. Maybe twelve. You know. Um, but then you gotta go. You gotta go. Ten. Ten. Uh, right now. Uh, <coughs> buddy. Uh, um, Peter. James Warren. Cousin, fifty-eight cousin. Uh -huh. um, Lance Morgan and I are getting together to put together a curriculum about Black history. Okay, and my focus even more so is the Black history of the United States. Also, we're including business education. I think it's important for us to be able to be creative to go out there and create our own environment to make things happen. All right. So we're in the process of doing that. Right, because we've lost the feeling, the righteous brothers, that we had years ago about us moving forward, being progressive. All right, life is life is about growing. Life is about experiencing. We spoke when we, we spoke we, when we leave this world. We spoke we better than we were when we first came here. And leave the world better. Exactly. Okay. So we were we were in the city mission environment, we were being trained to be like this. You can't tell the difference? Okay, whether we realized the objective when we were young at 15, but we were into it. All of us, we lived it. Okay, we were at with Clinton, remember? Okay, yeah, you went to deal with, I was at Theodore Roosevelt. Okay, you, uh, okay. I was, that, I, I had I was at g -Dub. Listen, let me explain something. Don't blame me, because I had nothing to do with that. Okay. <laughs> I had nothing to do with no, that. No, but you were striving with Yeah, we, but we all were moving forward. Yeah, we all had objectives. And, and so even to go to college. Yeah, it was right. expected. I didn't that. I was going to college. There was no oh, such thing, really? oh, I don't want to go. No, I'm like, uh, you must no, be out of your right. mind. You're going whether you like it or not. Yeah, like that's the route. The path has been laid. Yes, and the majority. 
both of us are working on a master's and PhDs now. I'll be here. Absolutely. It's such a blessing. Well, and we're still out here trying to help you. Yeah. I don't want to make this too long. I just wanted to tell everybody, you know, uh, uh, Clint Flanagan, uh, Diane, uh, Diane Sargent, or Sister Sargent. We say. Yeah, Sister Sargent. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's, 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 what's right line with you on? What's that? What's the right line with you on? Uh, uh, first, I was the first one, and that was, and, and they had started a club before that. Remember, her, um, Carrington, uh, Hugh Carrington, they started. Yeah, Hugh Carrington, that's right. Lose your films, because we were hanging around, and they said, "Oh, we gotta have something for these girls to do," and that was uh, Hugh Carrington. So that's part of our history. And if you remember Hugh Carrington, he was in charge of the, the, the supplies and stuff down in the basement. That's what he was. Yeah, the quartermaster. Yeah. That's what he was. Oh, oh. Yeah, it was because who, who was on? Oh, anyway, I want to sign up. This is our Anthony J. T. Sloan, third line, Pentagon Military Fraternity Rapid Patrol. Check you all later.